Now, what we are seeing right now is that during this time period where the United States was using the Islamic State, which is their terror army, to get Assad, Assad invited Russia into Syria and said, you know something, we need your help. We need to join forces to get rid of terror. Now, Putin understands what's going on here. He understands that the Islamic State is a creation of the United States, and they are controlled, supplied by the United States. He also knows over the last year the United States has not been fighting the Islamic State. They've been destroying the infrastructure of Syria. So Russia comes in, sets up a no-fly zone with their uh, jamming radar systems, and a lot of the coalition planes couldn't fly in this area. Russia then starts to bomb the Islamic State. The Syrian army builds up its forces and starts to overrun the Islamic State, pushing them further and further east. Just last week, we see the Syrian army, with the help of Russia, they've taken back Aleppo. This is a key area. The United States then started to airlift a lot of the Islamic State uh, uh, soldiers out of Syria, and they brought them down to Yemen and Libya. And right now what we're seeing is that all of this is being done by Russia. Russia is helping Syria. They're both fighting the terrorist group. Keep that in mind. So all of a sudden, we have a Russian Metrojet crash. Now, of course, the United States comes out right away saying it was the Islamic State. They have a satellite right above. We know there are drills going on at the same exact time between Israel and the United States, and the jet was brought down. And the, and the United States said from their satellite information, they see a flash. So far, the investigation to the Russian jet have not turned up any type of bomb. They haven't seen any bomb residue. Now, Russia might be holding this information back because they don't want to allow the United States to use this propaganda that it was the Islamic State. But so far, they haven't come out with it. And we know the United States was trying to push Russia and push the people into saying, oh, since we went, since Russia went into Syria, now we're getting hit with terrorism. And this is probably one of the reasons why Putin decided not to come out with this information. And remember, all this information came from Israel, which was passed on to the UK and to the United States. So all this time, Russia and Assad have been fighting the Islamic State. The US and the coalition forces are pretty much sitting on the sidelines. And we know the United States brought in the 50 special op team into Syria. Again, the United States was not invited into Syria. They invaded a sovereign country. Russia kept on asking the United States, you know, cooperate. We will work with each other to go after these ter terrorists. And the United States continually said, absolutely not. We are not going to work with you. So Russia right now, using the propaganda of the Islamic State, has outsmarted the U.S. And the U.S. was backed into a corner. And when you back these psychopaths into a corner, the only thing they have left, and I've talked about this many, many times, is some type of an event. Now, we knew there was going to be an event coming soon. Now, is this the only one we're going to see? No, there's going to be more. This is the initial one to get everyone all um, riled up, everyone in a state of fear, and they're hoping that they can bring everyone together to fight in this next war. 